One, cute. Two, delicious. Three, exciting. Four, fashionable. Five, friendly. Six, hospitable. Seven, hot. Spicy. Eight, intelligent. Smart. Nine, lazy. Ten, light. Eleven, polite. Twelve, powerful. Thirteen, soft. Fourteen, talented. Fifteen, talkative. My new bicycle is faster. Listen to the model. I think you'll like my new bicycle. But I liked your old bicycle. It was fast. That's right. But my new bicycle is faster. Do exercises 1 through 12. You will hear the correct line after you speak. You begin. 1. I think you'll like my new rug. But I liked your old rug. It was soft. 2. That's right. But my new rug is softer. 2. I think you'll like my new tennis racket. But I liked your old tennis racket. It was light. 3. That's right. But my new tennis racket is lighter. 3. I think you'll like my new apartment. But I liked your old apartment. It was large. 4. That's right. But my new apartment is larger. 4. I think you'll like my new neighborhood. But I liked your old neighborhood. It was safe. 5. That's right. But my new neighborhood is safer. 5. I think you'll like my new office. But I liked your old office. It was big. That's right. But my new office is bigger. 6. I think you'll like my new recipe for chili. But I like your old recipe for chili. It was hot. That's right. But my new recipe for chili is hotter. 7.
I think you'll like my new dog. But I liked your old dog. It was friendly. That's right. But my new dog is friendlier. Eight. I think you'll like my new sports car. But I liked your old sports car. It was fancy. That's right. But my new sports car is fancier. Nine. I think you'll like my new dishwasher. But I liked your old dishwasher. It was quiet. That's right. But my new dishwasher is quieter. Ten. I think you'll like my new wig. But I liked your old wig. It was pretty. That's right. But my new wig is prettier. My new rocking chair is more comfortable. Listen to the model. I think you'll like my new rocking chair. But I liked your old rocking chair. It was comfortable. That's right. But my new rocking chair is more comfortable. Do exercises 1 through 11. You will hear the correct line after you speak. You begin. 1. I think you'll like my new apartment building. But I liked your old apartment building. It was beautiful. That's right. But my new apartment building is more beautiful. Two. I think you'll like my new roommate. But I liked your old roommate. She was interesting. That's right. But my new roommate is more interesting. Three. I think you'll like my new girlfriend. But I liked your old girlfriend. She was intelligent. That's right. But my new girlfriend is more intelligent. Four. I think you'll like my new boyfriend. But I liked your old boyfriend. He was handsome. That's right. But my new boyfriend is more handsome. Five. I think you'll like my new briefcase. But I liked your old briefcase. It was attractive. That's right. But my new briefcase is more attractive. Six.
I think you'll like my new computer. But I liked your old computer. It was powerful. That's right. But my new computer is more powerful. Seven. I think you'll like my new printer. But I liked your old printer. It was fast. That's right. But my new printer is faster. Eight. I think you'll like my new English teacher. But I liked your old English teacher. She was smart. That's right. But my new English teacher is smarter. Nine. I think you'll like my new recipe for meatloaf. But I liked your old recipe for meatloaf. It was delicious. That's right. But my new recipe for meatloaf is more delicious. Ten. I think you'll like my new boss. But I liked your old boss. He was nice. That's right. But my new boss is nicer. Eleven. I think you'll like my new parrot. But I liked your old parrot. It was talkative. That's right. But my new parrot is more talkative. Better, more attractive, funnier, more interactive, side by side. I think you'll like my new bicycle. I liked your old bicycle. It was fast. That's right, but my new bicycle is faster. I think you'll like my new apartment. But I liked your old apartment. It was large. That's right, but my new apartment is larger. You know, my bicycle is fast. <laughs> my bicycle is faster. My dad is tall. My dad is taller. Our TV is big. So, our TV is bigger. My brother is strong. You think so? My brother is stronger. My dog is friendly. My dog is friendlier. See ya. See ya. I think you'll like my new rocking chair. But I liked your old rocking chair. It was comfortable. That's right. But my new rocking chair is more comfortable. Really? Here, try it. You're right, Mom. This new rocking chair is more comfortable. Absolutely. I think you'll like my new computer. But I liked your old computer. It was powerful. That's right, but my new computer is more powerful. So how's college? Great. How about you? It's great. My campus is beautiful. There are big trees everywhere. 
My campus is probably more beautiful. There are big, interesting buildings everywhere. My dorm room is comfortable. It has a large window. My dorm room is probably more comfortable. It has air conditioning. So how are your courses? My courses are very difficult. I have exams every month. My courses are more difficult. I have exams every week. My roommate is interesting. He wants to be a doctor. My roommate is more interesting. He wants to be an actor. My professors are very intelligent. One of them wrote a famous book about economics. My professors are more intelligent. One of them won the Nobel Prize for economics. Well, see ya. See ya. I have time for a few more questions. Mayor Brown. Wendy Wilson, Channel 7 News. Many people here in Brownsville are upset about the streets these days. They say they aren't as clean as they used to be. Well, Wendy, I'm not sure I agree with that. I think the streets here in Brownsville are cleaner now. Peter Chang, Channel 4 News. Mr. Mayor, everybody's worried about the problems in our city parks. Peter, I can tell you and all the people of Brownsville, our parks are safe. But people are saying our parks used to be safer. Safer? <laughs> I disagree. I think the parks are very safe for the people of our city. Bob Montero, Channel 5. According to a report from your director of public transportation, the bus system in Brownsville isn't as reliable as it used to be. He said that? Yes, he wrote in this report, and I quote, the bus systems in every other city around Brownsville are more reliable. Do you have any comments, sir? I think I need to see that report before I comment. Henderson, fire the director of public transportation immediately. Mayor Brown, Doug Kramer, CNN. According to our CNN news poll, the citizens of Brownsville are very concerned about their schools. They say the schools aren't as good as they used to be, and the schools in the towns around Brownsville are better. What's your reaction to this? Well, Doug, I just don't think that's true. I believe the schools in Brownsville are very good, and we're working to make them even better. Mayor Brown, Janet Bradshaw, Side by Side TV News. Side by Side TV News? Never heard of it. Your question, Ms. Bradshaw. Mayor Brown, people are saying that you're different these days. They say you used to be kinder, friendlier, and more polite. Do you think that's true? And what are you going to do about it? Why, Ms. Bradshaw, I'm really surprised to hear that. I think I'm a very kind, friendly, and polite person. Don't you all agree? Well, you'll have to excuse me now. I have a very important meeting. Mayor Brown, oh, but Mayor Brown please, one more Mayor question. Mayor, 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 friendlier. Mayor Brown, Mayor Mayor. Bicycles are safer than motorcycles. Listen to the first model. Should I buy a bicycle or a motorcycle? I think you should buy a bicycle. Why? Bicycles are safer than motorcycles. Listen to the second model. Should he study English or Latin? I think he should study English. Why? English is more useful than Latin. Do exercises 1 through 15. You will hear the correct line after you speak. We'll begin. 
One. Should I buy a used car or a new car? I think you should buy a used car. Why? Used cars are cheaper than new cars. Two. Should he go out with Ellen or Helen? I think he should go out with Ellen. Why? Ellen is more interesting than Helen. Three. Should she buy a dog or a cat? I think she should buy a dog. Why? Dogs are friendlier than cats. Four. Should I vote for Linda Lee or Gary Green? I think you should vote for Linda Lee. Why? Linda Lee is more honest than Gary Green. Five. Should she take a course with Professor Blake or Professor Drake? I think she should take a course with Professor Blake. Why? Professor Blake is more intelligent than Professor Drake. Six. Should they plant flowers or vegetables this spring? I think they should plant flowers. Why? Flowers are prettier than vegetables. Seven. Should we buy this fan or that fan? I think you should buy this fan. Why? This fan is quieter than that fan. Eight. Should she buy these earrings or those earrings? I think she should buy these earrings. Why? These earrings are more attractive than those earrings. Nine. Should he take piano lessons with Mrs. Clark or Miss Smith? I think he should take piano lessons with Mrs. Clark. Why? Mrs. Clark is more talented than Miss Smith. Ten. Should I buy the hat in my left hand or the hat in my right hand? I think you should buy the hat in your left hand. Why? The hat in your left hand is fancier than the hat in your right hand. Eleven. Should she buy fur gloves or leather gloves? I think she should buy fur gloves. Why?
Fur gloves are warmer than leather gloves. 12. Should I buy a notebook computer or a desktop computer? I think you should buy a notebook computer. Why? Notebook computers are more convenient than desktop computers. 13. Should I hire Ms. Parker or Ms. Jones? I think you should hire Ms. Parker. Why? Ms. Parker is more capable than Ms. Jones. 14. Should I fire Mr. Mason or Mr. Grimes? I think you should fire Mr. Mason. Why? Mr. Mason is lazier than Mr. Grimes. 15. Should we rent this movie or that movie? I think you should rent this movie. Why? This movie is more exciting than that movie. I try to be a good son, but no matter how hard I try, my parents never seem to be satisfied. They think I should be a better son. They think I should eat healthier food, I should wear nicer clothes, and I should get better grades. And according to them, my hair should be shorter, my room should be neater, and my friends should be more polite when they come to visit. You know, it isn't easy being a teenager. You know, my dog isn't as friendly as your dog. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is much friendlier than mine. Listen to the second model. You know, my novels aren't as interesting as Ernest Hemingway's novels. Don't be ridiculous. Yours are much more interesting than his. 1. You know, my apartment isn't as clean as your apartment. 2. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is much cleaner than mine. 2. You know, my computer isn't as powerful as Bob's computer. 3. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is much more powerful than his. 3. You know, my boss isn't as nice as your boss. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is much nicer than mine. 4. You know, my furniture isn't as comfortable as your furniture. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is much more comfortable than mine. Five. You know, my house isn't as big as the Jacksons' house. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is much bigger than theirs. 
six. You know, my pronunciation isn't as good as Maria's pronunciation. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is much better than hers. Seven. You know, my garden isn't as pretty as your garden. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is much prettier than mine. Eight. You know, my recipe for fruitcake isn't as delicious as Stanley's recipe for fruitcake. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is much more delicious than his. Should we go or should we stay? Should we visit friends today? Side by side Should I buy a bicycle or a motorcycle? I think you should buy a bicycle. Why? Bicycles are safer than motorcycles. You're probably right. So, Mrs. Taylor, what would you like to talk about today? I'd like to talk about Donald's course schedule for next year. All right. Should he study English or Latin? I think he should study English. Why do you say that? English is more useful than Latin. Well, tomorrow is election day, and everybody's talking about which candidate they're going to vote for, Stanley Pratt or Lois Murphy. Let's go live to side-by-side -side TV news reporter Scott Mason, who's talking with some typical voters about tomorrow's exciting election. Scott? Bob, I'm here at the corner of Maine and Madison downtown to find out from some typical voters how they plan to vote tomorrow. Which candidate are you going to vote for? I'm going to vote for Lois Murphy. Why? I think she's more honest and more intelligent than Stanley Pratt. And how about you? Who's your favorite candidate? Stanley Pratt. If you ask me, he's much more capable and more talented than his opponent. And who's your choice, Murphy or Pratt? Pratt. Can you tell us why? Well, Stan Pratt says he'll make our streets safer and our city cleaner. And I believe him. And who is going to get your vote? Lois Murphy. She'll be a much better mayor than Stanley Pratt. Why do you think so? She's a much more reliable person, and her ideas are more interesting. And what's your opinion? Well, you know, some days I think Lois Murphy is better than Stanley Pratt. But other days I think Stanley Pratt is better than Lois Murphy. Well, who are you going to vote for? You know, young man, that's a very interesting question. But I think I'll probably vote for Murphy. And why is that? Well, I think she's more interested in the problems of older people. After all, she's a grandmother. And between you and me, Scott, I think she's a much nicer person. Well, as you can see, voters have lots of different opinions about who is a better candidate. Lois Murphy's supporters say she's more honest and intelligent. Stanley Pratt's supporters say he's more capable and more talented. Lois is nicer. Vote for Lois. Tomorrow's election will certainly be a very interesting one. This is Scott Mason reporting from downtown. Back to you, Bob and Jackie. Thank you, Scott. Well, it's going to be a very interesting election. It certainly is. And that's our report for today. I'm Jackie Williams. Have a good evening. And I'm Bob Rogers. Don't forget to vote. See you tomorrow. You know, my dog isn't as friendly as your dog. Don't be ridiculous. Yours is much friendlier than mine. You know, my novels aren't as interesting as Ernest Hemingway's novels. 
Don't be ridiculous. Yours are much more interesting than his. My parents say that my room isn't as clean as my sister's room. I disagree. I think yours is much cleaner than hers. Which car should we take to the beach? Do you want to take ours, or do you want to take yours? What do they want to know? They want to know which car we want to take to the beach, theirs or ours. Let's go in theirs. Theirs is much more comfortable. But ours is larger. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to us. Yours is more comfortable than ours, but ours is larger than yours. Let's take yours. Okay. We'll pick you up in ten minutes. Bye. Bye. Inspector Larson, do you know who killed Winston Maxwell III? Now, Monica, be patient. I still have some questions to ask these people here. The maid. The butler. The cook. The chauffeur. And the gardener. I believe that somebody in this room killed Winston Maxwell. I can't believe it. We all loved Mr. Maxwell very much. He was a kind and generous man. You know we loved him, Mrs. Fletcher. That's right, Stella. I know you all loved him very much. That might be true. But nevertheless, somebody killed Mr. Maxwell, and they left this handkerchief at the scene of the crime. Let's ask the maid. Is this your handkerchief? Oh, no. It isn't mine. M mine is smaller. See? Then let's ask the butler. Is it yours? It isn't his. His is larger than that one. Show him. Well, then, is it hers? No, it isn't hers. Hers is fancier than that one. And it isn't theirs. I'm certain of that. It isn't ours. Mine is more colorful than that one. And as you can see, mine is older. Inspector Larson, do you really think one of these people killed Winston Maxwell III? Yes, I do. Monica, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, Inspector. I'm just putting on a little perfume. Here, would you like to smell it? Why, Inspector Larson, where's your handkerchief? I guess I left it at home. Now, come on, Inspector. You didn't leave it at home. You left it at the scene of the crime. <gasps> Oh, Monica, don't be ridiculous. Inspector, you killed Winston Maxwell III. This handkerchief isn't his, hers, or theirs. It's yours. Look, here's the initial L in the corner. It's true, Monica. The handkerchief is mine. I killed Winston Maxwell III. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Fletcher. You did it again. The pleasure is mine, Officer Garcia. Well, Inspector Larson, are you ready to go? Take him away. He's all yours. Brownsville. The Taylor family lived in Brownsville for many years. And for many years, Brownsville was a very good place to live. The streets were clean, the parks were safe, the bus system was reliable, and the schools were good. But Brownsville changed. Today, 
the streets aren't as clean as they used to be. The parks aren't as safe as they used to be. The bus system isn't as reliable as it used to be. And the schools aren't as good as they used to be. Because of the changes in Brownsville, the Taylor family moved to Newport last year. In Newport, the streets are cleaner, the parks are safer, the bus system is more reliable, and the schools are better. The Taylors are happy in Newport, but they were happier in Brownsville. Although Newport has cleaner streets, safer parks, a more reliable bus system, and better schools, Brownsville has friendlier people. They're nicer, more polite, and more hospitable than the people in Newport. The Taylors miss Brownsville. Even though they're now living in Newport, Brownsville will always be their real home.